Somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back. That's the answer. This is the Appleton Oak. I'm Mason Quinn. Guys, tonight we are taking a look at Jordan Peele's latest movie, Nope. Ooh. Now, I don't know anything about it other than it's got Walking Dead alum Steven Yeun in it, which I think is going to be awesome, and that I think there's UFOs from the trailers, maybe. that's I think that's all I know. But it's Jordan Peele, so I have faith it's going to be an awesome ride and a lot of fun. Well, I know one thing about it, and I learned it from listening to his appearance on Smartless, that uh, the NOPE stands for something, and it stands for not of planet Earth, so you might be right on the UFO thing, but I am definitely ready, willing, and able able to see where this goes it has our main man back in a movie from get out the lead in that he did a great job in that so i'm i can't wait to see how he does in nope i don't know anything about this movie other than what i saw in the trailers which looked pretty wild yeah. you know they the trailers like really leave you kind of clueless as, <laughs> as to what's that's, going on they throw they throw a handful of different things at you like wait what wait what, what is this movie about but i was unaware that nope um was an acronym uh, for something. So, uh, all, look, Thank all Jordan Peele's movies have been uh, pretty awesome. So, I'm excited for this one. All right. So, without further ado, let's go. How you think that a man who can send a rocket into space would be able to manage a halfway decent birthday present? Nope. 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 Right out of the bat. Hey, Gordy. Surprise! Wow! Is this is this how it's supposed to be? Is this dialogue supposed to be in there? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Jesus! Okay, I see some the blood this? over there. Yeah. What Whoa. the what the hell is this? Did a monkey take out a whole studio audience? Look at it. I think there's people laying up there. Yeah, there's people up in those seats. Don't you look at me like that. Oh, breaking boy. the fourth wall. <laughs> well, remember, it was, a, it was someone, like, breathing. Was that just an intro, like, promo for the, the film house? or That's, production, good, that's production a good house? question. I don't yeah. know. Production house? Movies yeah, something? I was just saying with the bang part. Yeah, I mean we really put on the show. Hey, there he is. <laughs> we sure as hell ain't got to sell no more horses, so just execute. Ah, <laughs> Keith David, the God. man. I didn't recognize him right away. Such a great. Yeah, I recognize the voice though. Come on. Where are your sister? She's supposed to be here. Yeah. God, wouldn't I imagine owning a ranch like that? Oh, that'd be beautiful. That's your view just every day. I told you to fix the damn Are we gonna get yeah. into it right away here? What the hell? It's like meteors? Remember we heard those in the in the studio before. Yeah. Oh, oh. oh did it get him already? Did we lose Keith David? Oh no. What else? What else? Loose. Uh huh. Oh, jeez. Lost a lot of blood. Oh, oh, it's just squirting out. Oh. oh. Oh, wow. Look at it. It's like a coin. Yeah, I was going to say, it looks like a brown piece of metal or something. It is a coin. A nickel. A nickel. Ooh. Keys. A or a key. So maybe the maybe the monkey didn't go nuts. Uh, my team's almost here. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Bonnie Clayton on set. OJ, our first trainer. You remember these guys from First Point? Yeah. Hi. Your name is OJ. Yeah, Otis Jr. Oh, where's the uh, other guy? He died about six months ago. A bunch of random shit out of a plane. So I guess we're still with you. Okay. Fuck. Let's go ahead and spin the fingers. While that's spinning, can we get yeah, makeup? Please. You stay away from bed, please. Tell you what, let's do a quick safety meeting. He was in the Guys. original, uh, the Punisher movie with Tom, Tom Jane. What was he? Yeah. My name is OJ. I think my sister's gonna be here in a minute. 
I said we are animal wranglers with Haywood Hollywood horses. Very first. Uh, hey, yo. Sem- I'm so sorry about that. Dude, I'm sorry, Bubba. Safety meeting. Hello. How y'all doing? <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna guess she has the personality. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Did you know that the very first assembly of photographs and sequential order to create a motion picture was a two second clip of a black man on a horse? Well, that's what they just showed us. Yep. It's pretty cool. But does anybody know the name of the black jockey that rode the horse? No. They don't care. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, we got a movie. <laughs> Alistair E. Haywood, and he is my great great grandfather. Great. There's another great grandfather. <laughs> <laughs> Number one, please refrain from making any loud noises, sudden movements, and keep your cell phones off. Two, if you see anything that looks or feels unsafe, contact me, OJ, or your second in chain of command. And three, let's have a great shoot. Well, I think I think you might need a break. Well, I'm ready to do one. Oh, something gonna go wrong here. What's the horse's name? Uh, Lucky. Lucky. Hey, 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 hey. No. Hey. Oh, I thought I was gonna get somebody. Your dad left an enormous hole, I know that, but don't worry, they'll be ours. And sorry. Just you tell her sorry. Thank you for the opportunity. So where am I dropping? I'm gonna go up with you. My little girl said, you know, I could crash at her place, so. So I'm gonna drive you back tomorrow? I could find a ride. Aw, oh, poor Lucky. What happened to Gold Rush? Gold Rush went back. This is telling you Texas. <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on. Lucky. Tight. You guys ever ridden horses before? Uh, once when I was really young. Uh, same. Yeah, it's a weird feeling. Like this animal doesn't have to do a word I say. <laughs> it doesn't want to, you know. Can you stay out here? Why? Don't promote your fucking side shit on the job. First of all, that's not my side shit. This is. Hi there, it's Amber hey. from Jeep's Claim. OJ, thanks for coming out. How you doing? Hi there. Ah, so good yeah. to see Glenn again. Who'd you bring me? Uh, Lucky. You, you literally the Asian kid from Kids here? Yeah, I was, uh, I was a little juke. <laughs> Same deal, yeah? 11-5? Never happened to that black boy. He was good. Stop, stop. He's on the Wheaties box? <laughs> Actually, OJ, the offer I made your dad is so oh, the take. monkey. Yo, really? wait a minute. This is in reference to the Gordy's home incident. Yeah, my pops told me about this show. The, the monkey went crazy or some shit. I usually charge a fee for this. Oh, damn. <laughs> Gordy's home began airing in the fall of 96, and it was an immediate hit. Just really took off. Yeah. So one of the chimps that plays Gordy just, just hit his limit. And it was six minutes and 13 seconds of havoc. It was a spectacle. People huh. are just obsessed. Andre, you said you heard about that? Mm-hmm. That's why they don't let you use chimps. Oh. So what happened really, man? You haven't seen the Bad Gordy sketch on SNL? Daryl Hammond is Tom. Sherry O'Terry is Mary Jo Elliott. <laughs> Scott Wolf is the host. He's me. But of course, the star of the sketch is Chris goddamn Katana as Gordy. <laughs> he is... <laughs> Undeniable. Everyone's trying to celebrate Gordy's birthday. Every time Gordy hears something about the jungle, Gordon Katan goes off. He's just crushing it. He is a force of nature. He is killing on that stage. Oh shit, he was stuck there? Yeah. Yeah, it definitely probably did not happen like that. <laughs> so we ain't gonna chill tonight, nothing? You wanna work? Hell no. So uh what was the offer? He offered to buy the ranch. That's interesting. How much? I'm trying to see how big of a dumbass you are. Big dumbass, probably. That means he said no. Gosh, I'm giving myself a headache Bro. trying to pay attention to every detail in this. Because <laughs> it's Jordan Peele. I don't want to miss anything, you know? Remember Jean Jacket? It's supposed to be my first horse, actually. I was just talking to my therapist about this not too long ago. I fuck one on occasion sometimes. For my ninth birthday, I was supposed to get to train Jean Jacket. I distinctly remember standing right here at this window watching y'all train my horse. Pops never looked up at me. Roger, come on. Yo, that man was hard-headed as fuck. And so were you. But at the end of the day, you gotta, you gotta admit, man, Pops. Pops did something when he made this place. He changed the industry. Why is Ghost in the arena? Oh, my God. Let's go. Oh. What are you doing? 
That's a good question. <laughs> oh, that's Stephen Yoon's voice. Mm-hmm. His place must be right connected. there. Yep. Yeah, now it makes sense. going on all the lights are mm, yeah. yeah what, what the, the hell is that where's ghost i don't know hold on power now see wow did you guys see something that flash right before it went out yeah that's what i'm wondering is because like he saw that one thing in the air yeah it looked like something ran across the screen what'd you see What's a bad miracle? You gotta work for that. No. Nope. They said it was a prior plan or something like your pops. And tonight I heard a ghost make a sound. I ain't never heard a horse make. What did you see? It was bad. It was fast. Too quiet to be a plan. Are you saying what I think you're saying? The point is, a website like Cyber Dominion will pay five to hundred k for photographic evidence of UFOs and shit. A hundred k? Now that I'm thinking about it, fuck Cyber Dominion. This shit right here is a moment. How you doing? You look pretty. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm saying there's plenty of videos of flying shit online. I saw one the other day that wasn't on open. All right, I can help you over here. <laughs> he loves his job. <laughs> what happened? Did you guys get robbed? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, a lot of blackouts. All these new cameras, they have backup battery power, so. I don't know, it messed with a cell phone. Cell phones, they don't just drop in power. I mean, maybe your Wi-Fi drops out whenever your system dips. So. <laughs> yeah. Not realize you guys are this far out. Smell of poor shit and fresh air. It's <laughs> good. Ah! Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't do that. Don't yell. Sorry, man. Where you going? I got to go to the store and get stuff. Don't worry about it. You need anything? <laughs> <laughs> you were just at the store. <laughs> well, she got her solar patch, kids. Yeah. She's an actress, model. You know, fucking left me. <laughs> fucking CW. <laughs> he does not give a shit. <laughs> All right, okay. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> like he's training like he's the train horse. horse. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's got them all around yeah. the place. He bought a bunch of them. That whole th uh, van was full. Yeah. Do you know I'm calling me with those anymore? It's fucking UAPs now. Why do you got to change the name? All right, it's because they want to keep us in the dark. No one knows what the fuck a UAP is. <laughs> it's shitty footage of exact proof that there's an alien civilization out there in the universe. Either they're intergalactic travelers looking for peace, futuristic humans coming back in time to stop us from destroying the planet. <laughs> Interstellar? <laughs> he brings the van down. <laughs> nice tires on that. Hey. Nice, some nice mm -hmm. tires. Good, good tread. What's that? You know, just uh, training horses we ordered that I picked up. Now come on, help me out. Okay, so <laughs> sort of. Is it like bait? I told you, it is a decoy for horse training. We good. He don't know shit. You guys are doing something shady. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? We setting up a decoy! You know, we got some of those. Where'd you Where'd get... You get <laughs> I'm not really sure. My wife would know. They just stop it back. You don't live here. <laughs> it's just the like guys setting up the cameras. I wanted to invite you to our <sighs> new family live show. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. <laughs> yeah, do it. <laughs> <laughs> I can monitor the feeds remotely myself if you want. Free of charge. Hell no. no. <laughs> <laughs> so what now? I don't know what you want to do. Well, I got some work that I do. I'm going to go out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she ain't doing that. <laughs> Clover. Okay, so last one was a ghost, and now what's going to happen with Clover? What's he making? Got a plumber, a ball, well, it, a primer. Remember, it was well, it was the same thing that uh, they showed the horse and it freaked, uh, yeah, freaked out. Yeah, silver ball or whatever. Yeah, yeah, I see. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. 
I, I just waiting for something I, to happen. Yeah. I know. Tension's killing me. The way they're shooting this, you know something's just bound to happen in the background. Look at uh, that. Yep. What the f- What? Was that there earlier? What is that? That is, it's a little oh. alien. Holy shit. What the f- That's an alien. What the fuck, yo? He's gonna be shooting that on a razor. Oh, oh shit! Oh, things getting close to him. Uh, just getting <laughs> Something, ready for something's gonna happen. Oh, look at him just slowly. Yeah. Uh, what if? Take the damn uh, picture. Uh, Oh, oh, Jesus! Oh, oh. 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 kids in a mask. They all got him. They trying to prank Haywood? It's on! You stole their horse. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. God. Oh, he's going to oh. hack into those cameras. Oh, somebody's behind him, too. Oh, jeez, everything's uh. getting me. I can't believe though he just fucking punched the one. <laughs> Got me. Is it a bug? Yeah, it looks yeah, like a, like a praying mantis. Yeah. Oh, what's going on? So what's what's going to happen then? Just calling to tell you that there's a bug on camera A. Camera B is down. What? Like ancient fucking aliens down. Right back here. Oh. Oof. Yeah, we got some stuff going on here. Oh my god, it just sucked it right up into the air. Yeah. What is this? What do you see? Do you, do you see like lights or anything? Like a, a fucking saucer? Right? It's in the cloud. Oh, Jay! It's in the cloud! And then there's the losing power. Cell phone being lost. Camera. Still on. Next to our patch kids. That's right there. Oh. <laughs> oh no, they're gonna get the horse. Yeah. It's going up, see it? Oh, well, there it was right there. There it goes. And the bug was, the mantis was on the camera and missed the whole thing. Well, you shit. Let's go. Let's go. Where? It's not coming again tonight. I don't care. I ain't never seen no shit like this. You should go there. I got to get up early anyway. I got a mouse to feed. Shit, shit, shit. You hear that? Oh, man. Ghost out there, acting all territorial. I guess some animals ain't fit to be trained. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's set up. Hello? Oh, hi. Is this uh, Antler's host? Who's this? Hey, yeah, I'm Emerald Haywood. Uh, we met a couple days ago at the commercial. Oh, yeah, I'm a girl, sure. <laughs> I remember you and your brother. Guess I'm talking to motion picture royalty then. We have a project. We don't have a lot of money to pay you up front. Reality. Oh, no. Reality. Document. Documentary. Oh, that's better. <laughs> stop, 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 stop. Oh, hold on one second. This is what I did. I don't want to say y'all been knocking horses stick out your damn head. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even hit the mute. No. You make the cinematically impossible possible. We're looking for the impossible shot. That's impossible. You know who that is? It was the bad cousin from Robin Hood that had the long hair. Oh, he looks badass as an older dude. He was in a lot of stuff. He was the main bad guy in the movie The Crow. That's who that guy is. Listen to his voice. The one where you end up at the top of the mountain. Yeah. All eyes on you. It's the 
dream you never wake up from. Oh, this dude's a badass. Still. Well, that didn't go well. I don't like him. He didn't exactly do it. That's our guy. Oh, at first I thought he was going to pull it down. It's like, what was that going to do? <laughs> oh, shit, it's real. It was illegal for you to <laughs> spy on us like that. Wait, you, you don't know? That one cloud never moves. Yeah, look yeah, at it. It's, it's never moving. There. Oh, yeah. what the hell? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so that's why he wasn't sure it was real then. And that cloud has been right there at least since I set the cameras up. I'll probably be looking at the same damn cloud every day for the last six months. I mean, we have proof of aliens on video. I mean, yeah, I wouldn't call it proof. Yeah, yeah, you can't just call it throwing it out there. Ain't no proof. <laughs> Are you guys telling me? That there's an alien spaceship in that fucking cloud right there. <laughs> it doesn't move like a ship. What if it's not a ship? All right, Gordy. Almost ready, buddy. Wake up, buddy. All right. Oh, man. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Here you go, Gordy. Happy birthday. Oh, I'm waiting for something. Just oh, yeah. Oh, beautiful, Well, you can hear it getting hyper. Yeah. <laughs> oh. No, no. Oh, look at the blood on the door. Oh, see, that thing was like swinging something. Oh. Oh, oh it's biting. Oh, Jesus. No, 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 no. Oh. Yeah, I'm really having a hard time with how these stories. Yeah, how they tie together. Oh, that's the shoe that was in the case. Oh, it's standing up like that. Oh, no. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, it's trying to fist bump him. Oh my god. Oh, oh. they got him. Feeling good? Yeah. Wanna run it one more time, babe? What if I told you? <laughs> Oh, jeez. They're really getting us here. Man. Ew. So, uh, storm's coming. Star Is that what he's been doing with all the horses he's been buying from him? It's quite a doozy today. Oh, my God. They're supplying the horses yeah. for this. Yeah. It's part of their show. I also want to give a special thanks to an old co-star of mine. And my first crush, Mary Jo Elliott, everyone. Oh. Oh, her face. Oh, oh my God. God. Yeah, look, she's got the glove on her hand and stuff. Are you ready? Here we go. What if I told you? Well, this is what he heard that other night. You'll leave here different. Every Friday for the last six months, my family and I have bore witness to an absolute six months spectacle. So let me take you back to that first night. I see a flying saucer descend through the mist. Now, just to be clear, what we saw was a flying saucer. No doubt about that. We are being surveilled. Well, obviously, nobody's taking this seriously because no. you have major news networks. Yeah, and he's done it a number of times. Yeah. Star Lasso experience is going to change you. This is messed up. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I don't think that's tied to the bottom of a DeLorean. There's the cloud. Oh boy. There's the mess. This is new. Uh, they're early. They're ready, we're ready. This is so oh, messed up. Oh You're just gonna send the horse off to get... On purpose? 
It's gone. Yeah. Oh, leave. Oh, they're losing power. Well, that guy has her phone. Oh. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. I think the UFOs are pissed that they got a fake one. They're doing the, the tornado thing right mm -hmm. around them. Yeah. Hey. Oh, look oh. at all the people flying oh. up. That's the shot we saw before. Yep. <laughs> what is going on? What is that? What if he's right? It's it's not a UFO. It's like that's the alien, maybe. Uh. It's like feeding. Oh, uh, yeah. Maybe it's a, a living organism. What if it's not a UFO? What if... Yeah. Oh, my God. Is that what they're implying? Like, they're not even UFOs? Yeah, it's they're just, like organisms? That's the, the alien itself. Oh, there's the... <laughs> there are the masks. Yeah. There's one of the hands. Oh, well, horse is still there. It's, it's not hungry for a horse. It just had a bunch of people yeah. for lunch. Or the horse was in a that container mm. because it's got a top on it. The yeah. horse couldn't be pulled up through. Remember that? Yeah. It's like a glass container with a gate on the front. There, there just one. Yeah. Oh, it's going to start dropping stuff, I bet. What the fuck? Huh. Oh, come on. <laughs> it's done. All right, I'll be over in the morning to tear the shit off. <laughs> <laughs> nice tune. <laughs> hey. It's not a ship. What happened? Oh, no. Oh, boy. It ain't the man. It ain't the mom. It's an animal, and it thinks that this is its home. We're in trouble. Who the hell is that? There's all the stuff dropping. Yep. All the metal stuff that it couldn't eat. Other stuff, too. There's the key. Oh! Oh, man. That's a lot. Oh! Oh, my God. Look at that shot. What the hell? Wow. Rain and blood. I, my question is, how would a, um, how would a living organism be canceling out a combustion engine. Wow. It's also a flying UFO that's eating things. That's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would suck. <laughs> we're we're due for a good jump scare. Oh. It's right above them. <laughs> <laughs> No. Nope. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, that was a decoy oh, horse. Oh, that's the decoy the horse. horse is uh, they, they got me. <laughs> <laughs> kind of reminds me a little bit of War of the Worlds. Mm -hmm. One with Tom Cruise. <laughs> oh. You got dune buggies yeah. on the house. Oh, just come. Let's go. No, Sasa, can't we just wait, right? You can. No, I'm not gonna be. I here gotta alone. get out this no fucking house. We're alive still because we stayed here. It's a good point. Remember, his van is still distorted. Yeah. Yeah. See, it's it looks like it's just right there. Yeah, there it is. See it? Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, 
Hey, horsey. Hey, don't don't look at it in the eyes, please. Oh, don't look at it in the eyes. <laughs> Holy shit, yeah. nice computer set up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here in Agua Dulce, California, and the whereabouts oh, no. of those 40 yeah. destined employees of a local restaurant they kill unknown. The sheriff's office has had its hands full trying to identify the security cameras were off at the time. Other than that, we have uh, no reason to suspect foul play. Chartag, I tell you're in the room. <laughs> Nobody want to talk about that. Every animal got rules. Right? We know what it wants. Stop. It was stop, good. Stop it was this good. Shit. But the moment about to pass. I'm not going back to the fucking monster umbrella. There's shit to do. Always. Yeah, what do you do with the rest of the horses in the ranch? You can't just abandon it. Yeah. Oh. Hey, your, your blood covered house. There's a wheelchair on your roof. <laughs> Oh, you're not completely full of shit. The concept of extraterrestrial animals in the sky is not a new thing. You know, people have been trying to get pictures of these things since like the 50s. You know, it's an ancient. How do we animal. say it? Now we know what it doesn't like. That little fake horse and flags mess it up good. I bet they ain't gonna fuck with flags like that in a minute. We're not the reason it settled down here. That was Jew. He got caught up trying to tame a predator. He got to end an agreement with one. That's Siegfried and Roy. <laughs> what is he wearing? <laughs> Send old jean jackets and fresh horses and golden hour and see what happens. Horse people. Who? Can I go down there? And get the star out of his trailer. Me. If you draw him out there, I'm here. Made her myself. No electricity. Did nice. not tell you this motherfucker was gonna come up here with a <laughs> Let's go, boy! That's the most emotion he's shown on movie. That's awesome. And we ain't got a lot of time. This <laughs> <laughs> boy's getting out. You know, people gonna come and do what they always do. They're taking all the batteries. Oh, yeah. The cars <laughs> that were in the park. <laughs> we'll let them come. Because what we about to do. They can't erase that. I get the shot. I'm feeling like maybe if you had some sort of remote detonated massive explosive or even a smaller explosive, like you get it to eat an animal and then a minute later let it ride. Yeah. I don't know if they have the <laughs> that though already. Yeah. If they have what? If they have that. <laughs> I get your point if it was someone like prepared, but Sure looks strange to me. <laughs> Scorpion, Scorpion King, King 2001. 2001. <laughs> he ain't gonna fuck with you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here we go. It's gonna be the big fight. Oh, Time to wake up the family. Oh, oh, look at the house. It's just a bad. How exquisitely stupid is that? Now we're finally going to see the jockey on the horse again. We're going to get you today, motherfucker. Where is the feed for horse camp? Holes is shooting on his own camera, and all of our cameras are digital, so it's a whole thing. Over. Man down. Stay on it, Em. I'm staying up. Could be a faulty battery. No, because yeah. you're going to see one, another one's going to go down, and then another one. Is that going to be her on the motorcycle? This asshole. <laughs> Thought maybe she was out. Oh uh, no. You see that cloud? Man, who you with? Who are you? Nobody. We doing a camera test for a Verizon commercial, so you no, know, I'm gonna need you to clear the road. This whole valley comes up as blurry on Google Maps. What did happen with Jim Park and all those people? You don't believe the flood narrative, do you? Fuck guys. Uh, hey guys, a jean jacket. 
It is definitely in those clouds. What's he riding there? Uh, it was an electric bike, but it, it wasn't a live wire. I think it was an Italian brand. I can't oh, but yeah. It. Especially if it's a freaking... So she was an electric bike. He is fucked. Fellas, here it comes. What happens when an electric bike going 60 miles per hour hits an anti-electric field going in the opposite direction? <laughs> <laughs> There's no way that that guy's alive. <laughs> well, did you see his helmet? His helmet was like all chromed out. Chromed out and like so maybe it won't be able to see him looking up. Don't he kind of look. Don't even look up through your eyebrows. Don't <laughs> don't do the full metal jacket thing. Looking through. Yeah. Did you get that on camera? Eyes on me. I need hey. my camera. Do you see it? Angel. What? Angel. Come on. We gotta reload. Why aren't you filming this? Okay. If you're trying to save that guy, I'll kill you. No. No. Please. Oh, look at his arm. Shut your eyes. No. Shut your eyes. Before you take a picture. Ah, just take a picture first. Oh, Better get that camera Ooh. going. He just hit him with the it's here from <laughs> what? It, wow, what is that? Poltergeist? Poltergeist. He can there, see the reflection there. looking up. <laughs> my bad, man. Oh, my God. There it is. Oh, sucked him up. I, I thought maybe the frickin' his helmet would help. Is he gonna bait him? OJ, are you okay? Are you good? That's it's how he right gets you there. to look. Yep. <clears throat> oh. Holy shit. Are you getting this? Oh, he's got fake eyes. OJ, set it up. He's going to run. Hey, it's gone. I can't see it anymore, guys. Oh, oh. <laughs> this music. <laughs> oh, he didn't uh, want the flag. Oh, he's getting the. Let's get a shot of it. Oh. Wow. That's got to be it. Yeah, he didn't like that, did he? We got it. Got it. The feed started going in and out when that when guy got got. Oh, we should be covered with the film camera. The light. going to be magic, son. He wants to do it again? What do you mean, that? Oh, no, no, no. Where, where are you going? We don't deserve the impossible. What's happening right yeah. now? He's going to get a better shot of it. Because he knows it's metal, they're gonna spit it out and wonder if he's gonna do it so he can get an even better shot. Because I mean, he was taking whatever yeah. medication there. Yeah, maybe he wants to get a shot inside of it. Oh, he's gonna just—he's gonna just putting himself out there. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, what yeah. a cool shot. Don't look up. At Don't it. look up. <laughs> oh, there you go. He'll be covered in that. He'll be safe. Oh, the film. Oh, oh! Oh! It's not gonna want all that. No. Ooh. Oh, he's gonna try to get sucked up in it too. With the barbed With the wire, bar so tear it up. So it'll spit him out then too, cause it's metal. Oh, he's pulling up all the barbed yeah, wire. Yeah, fencing. Yeah. Oh, look at it. It's all messed up. Yeah. Get out of here. 
Yeah, look at that thing. <laughs> it's just hanging out. What is going on with that look, thing? Yeah, oh, look at, it. look at it now. It's a different form. Wow. What Ooh, is Look going at that on? thing. Oh, what was oh, that? Oh, it's like the mouth, maybe. Oh, he's leading it away so that the bike will go. Just leave, old Jay. What the hell? Come on! She's trying to get it to follow her? It, it looks like that's what it's doing anyway. Oh yeah, yeah. it's going after. Oh, it didn't like the streamers. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> gonna fuck you. <laughs> oh, she's gonna get a picture of it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> She's still talking about <laughs> Oprah. <laughs> got it. That's got to mess this thing yeah, up. Yeah, got to. Because it's got to be filled with helium, right? Yeah, it would have to be. Not just that, it just... Oh! Yeah. Oh! Oh! Oh, you were right! <laughs> Cup was empty, but you were right. They blew the thing up. Yes! Boy, if you didn't have the closed captioning on here, you'd be missing a lot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes! He made it! All right. Oh, thank you. Knew we would. And he's out yonder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. Yes. All the pictures. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's nope. it. Another Jordan Peele hit. Oh, my God. And, you know, it's funny because, man, like the first hour, there's really not a whole lot going on, but the strength Loves of the, to do that shit. To yeah, the, the strength <laughs> of, the, of the actors that he had cast and the camera shots and the music that all carried it through you know the first hour in the movie where really not a lot happens we obviously got a lot of flashbacks with the chimp and everything and that was totally intense oh. but you know again that that first hour it was all just kind of set up and getting to know our characters a little bit and like i said the acting was just incredible uh, in this and the so lighting, the camera, all that really helped carry, carry it forward but uh, you know, it was really good seeing Steven Yoon again uh, <laughs> oh, man I miss seeing him and stuff, he was he was outstanding for the, for the limited uh, role that he did have, I thought it was really good and you know, man Jordan Peele just, just delivers again you know, he, his, this is his take on the the UFO flying saucer type genre, and, and you know it had us guessing. UAPs. Yeah, it had us guessing. You know the the whole way through as to you know how they're gonna get the shot, what are they gonna do, and that's that's part of the fun I think with Jordan Peele's movies is you know you're trying to figure it out. I don't know if it made the cut, but in like the first 10, 15 minutes, I was giving myself a headache because I'm trying to look at every single thing <laughs> on screen. Like, okay, does that matter? Does that matter? I just saw that. Is that important? And because he does that in his movies, where it seems like every little detail matters and there was probably a ton of easter eggs and stuff that i probably missed but i'd love to hear in the comments from you guys anything that uh you know may have been callbacks to other movies or significant things that they they might have shown but all in all just uh, another great jordan peele movie this one was a lot of fun i i don't think it was as good 
or as groundbreaking as something like Get Out was. I think that was movie was just on another level, but this one was still great and uh, in a lot of fun. And I'll give Nope four point one five out of five answers. Yeah, a lot of fun. And Jordan Peele delivers as always. Yeah, it was. It was. It was a lot of fun, especially like you. Like, glad I had him around that he was the one looking for all that stuff so that I didn't have to. So that way he would point it out. I mean, we kind of saw some things, but also, uh, I, I don't know if I've ever seen Brandon Preya. They was uh, he was Angel. I don't know if I'd ever seen him in anything, but yeah, he, did he was an excellent. Job. He was great. I was sad that we only had Keith David for a short bit, but then obviously Daniel Kaluuya, if that's how you pronounce his name, he was great because like he was like two totally different characters from when you saw him in Get Out to this, where you Get Out, you know, he was a lot more fun and energetic, but then you, yeah. you saw what was going, what was happening in this one. He's very low key. But man, he still tells He's, a story yeah, with just his eyes. Just, just doing a great job with it. As so he crushed it. I was glad, so happy he made it the end. Spoiler alert: if you fast forward right to the review, but he made it. All right. Also, it would be interesting if they were able to save, you know, um, the director, if they're able to save what footage he had or whatever yeah. thing else. But yeah. I had a lot of fun with it. I thought it was very entertaining. Yeah, they, that he did that where he didn't want to quite give away what what was going to happen, but then you saw that they angered him with the fake horse. So then he start so they only started eating people. So you know that's that's going to happen. But all in all, it was very innovative, especially with taking electricity. I mean, you might have reasons to doubt it or whatever, but I had a lot of fun with it. I give it a four point two five out of five answers. I had a lot of fun watching this one once again, and Jordan Peele. What, what can't this guy do? Uh, I love it. So imaginative. This story was interesting. Um, so very different in that we've seen a million UFO movies, right? Um, but I don't know that we've seen something quite like this. We've seen alien movies. You know, Predator was a technically yeah, fire an alien. in the sky. <laughs> yeah, but to, to see a uh, uh, an organic flying saucer that mm-hmm. fed on people and. You know, we, we, you know, so many alien stories, you hear the tractor beam, and this was like yeah. kind of that oh, same yeah, yeah. thing. Yep. And it makes you wonder, like, is the story he trying to tell that past UFO sightings aren't really uh, some sort of aircraft, but rather um, extraterrestrial beings coming yeah, here themselves, to yeah. feed? Um, the acting, look, the acting in this movie was phenomenal. Everybody was yeah. great. Our our three main characters, um, Daniel um, Kaluuya, Kiki Palmer, and Stephen Yoon. Yoon? 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 Uh, Stephen Yoon, yeah. Um, and then the guy who played the, the director, and I forget his Michael name. Michael Wincott. Yeah, yeah, but man, he's... I haven't seen him in a minute. He was, if you're if you're not familiar, he was uh, Sheriff of Nottingham's cousin in Robin Hood with Kevin Costner. Yep, Morgan he had the long Freeman. hair. And yeah. then he was the main bad guy in the movie The Crow with Brandon Lee, another '90s movie. And I'm look, he's been in a lot of stuff as a bad guy, but he's God, he's he's voice. He's, he's his voice is really yeah, unique. He was top dollar in The Crow. And then he's uh, he's aged into like this like old badass, yeah, you know, which is totally. really cool. The act- Guy of Gisborne. Guy of Gisborne, yeah. <laughs> Why a spoon, cousin? And Rochefort, uh, and then Rochefort and Three Musketeers. So he, he liked he liked doing that. He's been around. All right. Um, my biggest hang up with this movie is the chimpanzee story. Like it's such it was such a main part of this story, and but such like a side story. And there has to be a really good reason. And that's where my brain is going right now. Okay. Like. I enjoyed the movie. I didn't think it was phenomenal. I thought it was a good movie, mm-hmm. but I feel like it's gonna like when I if somebody's gonna somebody's gonna drop in the comments, yeah. or I'm gonna go look up what the chimpanzee thing was, and I'm gonna be like, oh, brilliant! Yeah, because it had to be something. I thought it was something with the popping of the balloons, because then remember you hear the popping from the aliens. The, well, you know yeah. what, what? That's I'm, the only thing I got, or the looking in the eye, or something. Well, you know that was the other thing that I uh, I thought was interesting is you know the 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 looking in the eye thing with the horse in the beginning, then he made his own ball like that, but I don't know that he really did anything with it yeah. after that. The only thing, like, I'm trying to, and I might be, like, way out in left field, um, but I wonder if the chimpanzee thing was just some sort of representation 
of something that's not human and you try you know you put it in this you put it in this human atmosphere and you think you can control yep. it but at the end of the day you really you really you can't. can't yeah that's right? what we talked about trying to control a prey animal right and i, I don't know if predator, that's predator, predator. Uh, if that's what it was like look chimpanzees <laughs> now i will say if which i found to be interesting and i have to imagine and drop a comment below there was a story it must that's have been what i thought of it too. must have been 10 or 15 years maybe even longer ago where a woman who had a pet yep. chimpanzee attacked her it tore her face all off and they did interviews with mm -hmm. the woman who and it tore her hands up too and they did interviews and her face was all covered up and it was tore up exactly like the mary woman in joe. the mary joe yep. in, the, in the movie which is interesting that they did that that was that was the first thing i thought of and i remember yep uh, this is years ago this might be 20 25 years ago already but i remember I a story i remember a story of a chimpanzee attacking the yep. owner and, and tearing her face up really bad um, but again, I, I'm trying to figure out, and again, I'm sure, look, there's a 100% chance I'm going to be on like YouTube <laughs> and the internet after this, like trying to figure out what the tie-in between the chimpanzee was and the story, because it was such a main thing. And that's what I'm thinking is like, look, predators are going to be predators and you can take a predator out of the wild and, and put it in some studio and try to train it. But eventually but it's, it's going to do, it's going to do what, 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 what instinct tells it to yeah. do. You know, even the horse when he's like, you know, in, in that opening scene, like, don't get too close to it. Don't yeah. do this. Spook mm -hmm. the horse. It kicked the lady. But And they made the Siegfried and Roy reference. As yeah. Well. Siegfried and Roy reference was in there. So I don't know if this is like a just like a don't mess with nature lesson. Like, Pretty much. You know, we <laughs> like at the end of the day, because of technology and other things, um, you know, firearms, weaponry, things like that, we've put ourselves at the top of the food chain. But if you take away technology, you take away, you know, knives and spears and, and firearms and, and all sorts of other things, we, we go right back down to like the very bottom of the yeah. food chain. You see and that like, Yellowstone every like, now and then. Like that. We, we, I mean, you know, we still have tools where we could build traps and stuff. But as far as, as far as physical capabilities in the food chain, humans are, we're, we're real real low yeah and i don't know if that was the like the representation but again they put so much emphasis on those chimpanzee scenes and i don't think there was really that much of a need to tell um you know jupe's backstory like that wasn't i don't think necessary to tell his backstory but they spent a lot of time yeah. on it so i'm really curious about that um, and not knowing anything coming into the movie, of course, that's like what's weighing on my mind. So I thought it was an interesting story. Um, you know, you thought it was going to be a UFO. Again, it was an organic, old biological creature. Um, so that was unique. The, the biggest thing for me that really put me over for this movie is the acting. I thought it was oh, it's so good, phenomenal all the way around. Um, it, it was. You know, they got the creature at the end. Yeah. You know, they're doing it with the balloon and stuff was <laughs> was a little different. Well, I, it's I, just like War of the Worlds. What was it? Oxygen that ends up no, killing War it of the or Worlds, water? They, no, War of the Worlds. The second War of the Worlds with Tom Cruise, um, I believe it was basically they gave it a like a cold. Yeah, the, like it, 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 it couldn't. Oh. It could sustain because of our bacteria. It just oh, have an, okay. Yeah, it didn't have an yeah. immune system. That's what see it that was. Yeah. yeah. So... Um, <clears throat> that movie was messed up but um but yeah so it was it was a good movie for me i didn't like love it you know when it it was a little weird for me when it showed its its mouth to like feed yeah. it didn't feel like any sort of like organic creature there was you know it was so mm. different and i'm sure they did that on purpose because we've all seen like the mouth open up and it looks like the the sand thing from star yeah, wars like with teeth. alien yeah. teeth or predator, or predator. Yeah. and this was like perfectly square mm -hmm. and then that opened up and it was very symmetrical it reminded me of steven newman's cowboy hat <laughs> it was <laughs> that's what i was gonna say about the ship too yeah. yes you know it was it was curious to me that it was in like this circular form with like the hole in the middle that it was using as the the wind tunnel but then it like spread out so that was yeah. different so it was creative I, I don't know that i that i really loved the the um you know some of that like the the portrayal yeah. it was in me and that may, look he look, jordan peele is brilliant right so the things that he does is very i believe it's very purposeful and it was a very non-traditional like 
alien, I guess. You know, again, like a green, shiny yeah. square. Mm. Everything was symmetrical. And I'm sure when he's writing this, maybe he's just like, look, I don't want to be like every Everybody other else. character yeah. and try to come up with some scary alien creature. So there was a lot of, um, you know, again, the, the movie itself, like as a whole, like at the end, you know, I was excited about it. Um, <clears throat> so it didn't like super excite me, but it's, it's interesting in that there's a lot of really good components mm. to this movie. Like as a whole piece, I'm like, eh, you know, it's it's okay for yeah. me. It's something that like had I left the theater, I wouldn't have been like, oh man, waste yeah. of time. I would have been like, okay, that was that That's was a fun. thinker. <laughs> but it's it's different, and I, and I hope that makes sense. Like the different components, like mm -hmm. the way this story was told and that story was told, and the, the acting and stuff like that. Um, that kind of made the movie. So this is this is yeah. this is different for me. Um, a little bit lower score than I've gone with some of the movies recently, but uh, I'm still I'm still putting it up there. Okay. I'm gonna go with 3.95, yeah. and I have a feeling that some of you guys are gonna help me out in the comments with the chimpanzee story, or I'm gonna help myself on the internet yes. as soon as we're done recording, <laughs> and I'm gonna be like, oh, that oh, was I brilliant. Get it. I gotta but, change my score but, now. Yeah, yeah. gonna change the like, score, which I could should, easily happen. Maybe I should put like a 3.95, like Ending. with a slash, like maybe. <laughs> but but like if, if if the chimpanzee story is what I think it is, then it's brilliant. Then it's a four point five. But yeah. we'll go with three point nine five for right now. Um, again, this was this was a, a fun movie, mm -hmm. and I'm I'm really I'm, I'm confused about some things, yeah. and so I'm really excited that's, to. That's to, always uh, the best way to, to to have our camera shut down yeah. so I can go <laughs> find out what's going on. But again, help us out. Yep. in the comments below you guys are always great and if there's easter eggs that we missed and i didn't even think about it but i, I don't know if it was answer or mason quinn here said um that uh, the guy brought up um the uh what, what like the predator and prey what did he bring up when oh, he was sitting in the chair you can't train you can't control or train yeah, yeah, predator. Predator. yeah yeah so um I just, oh, I think there's so much more yeah. to that, well, that chimpanzee the, thing. That's so. the great thing I think about Jordan Peele movies, and I think you kind of hit on it indirectly in that even if the movie doesn't blow you away, you're going to sit and talk about it with your friends. Yeah, you're going to well, like more so it. than a lot of other yeah, movies. So I, um, you guys saw, I was here for us, and then oh, I us. was I was over uh, I was over in Europe when we did, when you guys did Get, Get Out. out. In us, it was the first time. If, so if you hadn't, if you didn't watch our reaction for us, and you're still hanging around for the end of this one, I the first time ever I gave us just like a not applicable because I was so like thrown off by the entire plot, like my brain was fried. And then when afterwards, and you go back and you like figured out what was going on with the tethering yeah, the and tether, the switch, yeah. I'm like, oh my god, I'm like, that was so brilliant. That was so, <laughs> yeah, that yeah. was so cool. So I gave it like an NA the only time. Yeah. In you know, in hundreds of movies that we've watched. <laughs> well, the and other the other great thing Jordan Peele does is that he just gets to telling the story, and you, we kind of brought it up before with us, and I think it's it's important in this one too that a lot of the outside forces that might normally happen, whether that's police or military investigating something, he just kind of leaves all that out and just tells the story. Like, yeah, in the real world there would be police or military or helicopters or planes checking this out where these 40 people disappeared. But let's just tell the story and let's just go with mm -hmm. that. I really like how he does that. And it just, it simplifies the movie, I think. And you can just get to the point with it. Yeah, that's a really good point. I got a little hung up when we watched uh, Us. I'm like, where, 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 where's the police? Yeah. Where's the military? You know, and people in the comments were like, just just watch the movie. Yeah. <laughs> just relax. So I, I you know, I, I, it's funny because I didn't even, in my head, I didn't even really think about that. I didn't think about, like, the, the, the National Weather Service isn't tracking, like, multiple windstorms and a cloud that has yeah. it. Was, where, where, where's the local well, meteorologist on this well, the one? Well, the guy from TMZ said he couldn't even see anything on Google Earth or whatever. Yeah, yeah right. So right, he kind of yeah. said something so, there. Yeah, after... After 40 people disappear, <laughs> they wouldn't have just had that place taped off. They would have been doing some other stuff. But uh, I, uh, I left all that out for the movie. But again, a f definitely a fun ride. Glad uh, glad we had to, to sit down and a oh, chance to watch Once this. again, Jordan Peele delivers just like we deliver. So for Appleton <laughs> Oak, that's Mason Quinn. I'm, of course, the answer. Good night, pals.